What's up, family? An off-duty officer in Chicago fatally shot a man before warning him, I will kill you, after he tried to take her gun. Listen, fam, do they have no business trying to take this woman's gun when she tried to help him? It all started, police say, when LaVon Smith was outside arguing with a group of people. The officer leaves an apartment building and she goes to the crowd and try to defuse the situation, tells everybody to calm down. The other people that was involved, they take off. Levon stays back and he talks to the officer for about a minute. The officer turns to walk away and Levon and that Levon a smart one, boy. Boy, that Levon, boy, that boy, that boy been smart all his life. Levon decided that he wanted the officer's gun. So he tried to disarm her. He wanted to take the gun. So as she turned away, he reaches for the gun and she defends herself. She's like, look, man, I will shoot you. I will shoot you. And he said, you're going to have to shoot me. I mean, she said, I will kill you. He said, you don't have to kill me. And she said, watch this. Boom. Let that first one go. He kept struggling. He kept going after the gun. She hit him again. Boom. Then she banged on that boy one more time. And he was still talking. Like, okay, you got me. You got me. She had you from jump. Let me explain something to you, fam. When someone has the ups on you, let them have it. I don't know what possessed dude to go after that gun. I don't know why he needed it. What's the, what was the purpose? I don't know. Was he, was he going to take a gun and rob her? Or just was he taking, trying to take the gun to prove a point? Like she, she came down here acting tough or whatever, and I took her gun. I don't know if that was the plan, whatever it was. It was a bad, bad idea because that woman knew how to fight. And this is the second story today where I was talking about women defending themselves who had some type of training. You know, you had the IG model earlier who a guy tried to rape at her apartment complex gym. And she fought her butt off. Now you got this situation where this dude tried to wrestle a gun away from an off-duty officer. And she sent that boy to the upper room. <laughs> That's how them pastors be talking. Upper room. <laughs> sent that boy to the upper room. Now, here's why, fam, I don't have a problem with that. This dude obviously has done something in that area before. He just seems like a menace to society, and I'm sure he's done a lot of other low-down, dirty things before. I'm sure he's violated other members of our community. Fam, I want you to understand something. We're not going to be able to save everybody. Everybody can't be saved. Some of them are just going to have to get it. They're going to have to get what that off-duty officer gave old buddy. They got to get it, fam. We got to just let them... Some of them just got to die, fam. They're not going to get it. And we got to be okay with 
discarding those who are, who can't be saved. Because if we don't save ourselves, they're going to do us. We're going to be the victims. Now imagine how he taking that terrorist weapon from that woman. What would have happened? He may have popped her. You know, this is the person trying to help him. She went down there to help him. And that's how he repaid her. Now, fam, you know, you know I'm going to call it strike a strike and a ball a ball. You know, I'm not letting the police get away with nothing. But I ain't got no problem with this one. This was a good kill. Yeah, this was a good kill. He had no business messing with that woman. Fam, when somebody got a gun on you, if you ain't absolutely certain you can get that gun, you better respect it. He was not in danger. The woman was walking off. She was not threatening him or anything. So he was not in danger at all. He brought that up on himself. I bet when them bullets started hitting him, because you know, the bullets got a little bubbling effect, make your skin bubble a little. So I bet when them bullets started hitting, he's like, oh, oh, shit. It was at that moment he knew he had, what that Minister to Society, uh, uh, the Minister to Society movie, when, who was that, uh, Charles, not Charles, was that Charles? No, 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 that was Bill Duke. When Bill Duke said, you know you fucked up, man. You know you, yeah, you know. Oh, man, that first thing hit him, boom. Boy, she let them things go. I ain't mad. Family, protect yourself at all times. Say it with me. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?